Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, so today's video is going to be called Quarter Year Wrap Up. And this quarter year wrap up is going to be all about toners slash essences that I have tried since the beginning of the year to now. I'm gonna do a little series on this. I'm going to do all reviews on quarter year wrap up skincare. So the little series I'm going to do is starting with toners. So the quarter year wrap up reviews of toners, but then I am going to break it down. So I'm gonna do a whole video dedicated on serums and a whole video dedicated on moisturizers. I wanted to keep it simple for you guys. So it's just going to be toners, serums, moisturizers. So when doing my research, the first definition of toners is that it's a lotion, tonic, or wash liquid that cleanses the skin, removes oils and traces of dirt, also moisturizes, protects, and refreshes skin. But it gets a little confusing because if you google essence, it says it's a water-based lightweight hydrating layer to be sprayed or applied directly after cleansing. But it can get even more confusing in K-Beauty and J-Beauty, especially when it comes to essence because in K-Beauty, essence is supposed to be applied first step after cleansing, while in J-Beauty, you apply it after the toner. And sometimes toner means lotion. To just keep it really simple for this video and for you guys, it's just going to be toners. And the toners, even if they are labeled lotion or essence, I'm still gonna review them as a toner the second step you do after cleansing. Also going to split up this in three categories. The first category is going to be the liquid water, very lightweight toners, literally like water toners. The second category is going to be the thicker, more milkier or denser toners, still water-based, but they're just a lot thicker in consistency. And then the third category is going to be specialized toners. So meaning spray toners, toning pads, also anything mentioned in this video will be listed in the description box so if you are interested the names and links will be there okay so the first one is the angel agua moisture toner i wasn't really sure about i thought maybe it was going to leave a sticky residue because it does smell like lemons I noticed too especially with toners if it has like a very very strong fragrant scent it can leave like a sticky film behind but luckily this one doesn't a lemon scent but not overpowering lemon scent toner lightweight with a very hydrating uh, finish to it. So it does really make the skin a lot more supple. As far as like brightness goes or lightening any dark spots, this toner is not it. It's just like a basic hydrating toner, but it definitely offers moisture. Next one is the Sana Q10 toner. This is a Japanese drugstore toner. And one of you guys actually told me that this formula has antioxidants in it. So it's really great to use in warmer months. Pretty much has like no scent. Maybe there's like a subtle type sweet scent to it, but it's not anything that's there there and it is very very lightweight it's not as hydrating as some toners but i would say that it is a great toner to tone the skin with i did notice when i wiped down my skin with this toner it is very very good at kind of like evening out the complexion okay so next is the sakura toner so this is from bear japan and this is actually a more luxury type um, skincare so the bottle is really dense like it's a glass thick bottle and their pink line is supposed to be their anti-aging line but this is where it can get confusing because this toner says lotion it says right on the bottle aging care lotion what i like to do with this is i like to pat it in and then just let it sit for a second and then go in with another layer of it but the only thing i can say about this it has a very like floral old school type scent um, meaning it's powdery and floral and i don't feel like it fades as quickly as some toners do so that scent kind of lingers and it's not really my favorite but as far as like the luxury feeling and the high-end type anti-aging product feeling it definitely does that it delivers a lot of hydration along with like kind of the firmness plumpness to the skin when you let it settle if you are looking for an anti-aging toner that not just only hydrates the skin and tones the complexion but also delivers anti-aging ingredients with it this one would be for you okay so moving on this is the aha 7-in-1 peeling lotion because it's japanese it says lotion but it's a toner for this video and i was really curious because it says it has aha in it which is a mild very gentle exfoliant so i was thinking like maybe after i've cleansed my skin each morning i'm able to like wipe down my skin with this to get a little bit of exfoliation um, but the only thing that i found with this is that it doesn't exfoliate as well as i thought it would and also i found that it is very apple scented 
like apple jolly rancher if that makes sense it does have a very fruity scent to it and this fruity scent i feel like lingers and i wasn't really a huge fan of the apple scent on my skin so that's what kind of like at first like made me stop using it as far as like exfoliating toners i tried to get into them but they're just not my thing like i really prefer hydrating anti-aging toners but if you guys are looking for one that is just gradually removing dead skin every day and gradually kind of brightening your skin go for an aha toner like this one and look for peeling lotion moving on i have some k beauty toners um the two that i'm going to kind of review side by side is the pretty skin toners and these are actually on the bottle labeled as liquid toners so i have the snail essence one here and then i also have the rice okay so starting with the snail collagen one so this one's supposed to have the ingredient of snail mucin in it just a watery type very light scented pretty much no scent toner i've noticed when i do apply and pat this toner in it gives such a hydrating kind of healing type feel and benefit to the skin just like a lot of those snail mucin base ingredient products it delivers the same type of results and kind of healing towards the skin so i have really enjoyed it it's currently what i'm using along with the rice niacinamide one it's a little bit thinner too so it does absorb and i like to layer toners usually and especially for body care so this one i can do two three layers and it doesn't feel sticky so if you guys were looking for a just very simple basic sensitive skin approved toner these would be for you okay so moving on another water-based exfoliating toner is the nubuzin number no. two toner so this is the thermal water toner and i gave this a fair shot this is another exfoliating toner just like the aha1 peeling lotion just the only difference is this is called a lotion because it's j beauty and this is called a toner because it's k beauty so i started with patting it in and i was like why is my skin feel so tingly and then i noticed that oh wow it is an exfoliating toner just like the peeling lotion Lotion. and i'm gonna have to work with it in some way within my routine I use it as like a gentle exfoliant at night you know when i purchased this toner around that time they reformulated it so i do believe i have the newest formula next from new buzzin i definitely would try one of their hydrating toners versus the exfoliating one um, just because i think that works a little bit better within my skincare routine but if you guys are looking for an exfoliating toner that has no scent grab this one okay so the last toner that i have in the lightest weight water toners is going to be the kaiku sake rice toner so this one's clearly presented in a large bottle you get tons of this it's a japanese drugstore toner and it is not clear like the other ones that i just showed you but the reason i'm putting it in this lightest weight category is that this is such a liquid like it's pretty much a milky water that has no trace of thickness whatsoever so this one's pretty much like a holy grail or cult classic as far as like japanese skin conditioners go um, on the bottle it says skincare lotion um, but i consider it a skin conditioner just because it comes in such a large quantity and i use it like to condition my skin to help the overall health it's like pretty much a favorite of mine i'll always go back to it but the only thing that is the downside of it is if you guys are sensitive to scents this one smells like fermented sake if you're sensitive to that it could be overbearing when using it but the scent luckily with this one quickly fades um you do smell it right when you put it on so out of all of the ones that i just talked about this one in this category is the most brightening hands down because this toner or the skin conditioner has sake in it meaning that it doesn't just have rice it has fermented ingredient in it which really leads to brightness of the the skin i use this on my body and like the elbow areas and my knees that are a little darker i concentrate and pat like two to three layers on and it does lighten those spots and like even tone the whole body this is like a quarter year repurchase because it's pretty much like a favorite i'll always go back to it i see tons of results when using the sake toner we're getting a little deeper in the category of toner world and that's for the milky toners slash thicker consistency ones this baby right here so this is naturey skin conditioner it is lightweight just like the sake one i 
just showed you guys so i have so many different types of reviews on this i won't get too into it just know it is a great overall toner or skin conditioner for sensitive skin this has jobs tier in it um but this to me i found works better even for my eczema than oatmeal ingredient does it does really settle the skin and it really heals it plus it conditions it making it stronger so hands down another cult classic favorite but the denser toner i'll start with is the uh, milano cc toning vitamin c lotion this is a clear liquid toner but it has more of a thicker consistency so i find that if you do use this and you pat it in one layer is enough like one layer will do its job you try to build it up to two to three layers it can feel slightly sticky you are looking for a vitamin c type product this is the toner for you it's a quick way just to get that ingredient into your skincare routine plus it comes with a flip lid like all of these type of japanese drugstore toners come with flip lids pretty much and it's like super convenient the toner i go like back and forth with i have this toner just always like for some reason it's always in my toner collection to move on to this one this is the premium Hadu labu toner so it's considered a lotion but it's just like a dense watery type film that you pat onto your face to me one layer just like the cc one is enough um, because it's so thick and it has more of a tacky finish but i love this one because this is the toner that offers amazing hydration if you guys do have super dry skin and nothing's absorbing as far as lotion wise try this premium toner before you put on your lotion and it's just going to offer a level of hydration and also really helps the moisturizer kind of set into the skin better and it's a non-scented just basic layer of hydration toner so moving on the other toner that i have that is clear but a little bit on the thicker side is the eye skin clock moist lock lotion and the thing about this lotion is i had it for a while but i just recently tried it within this quarter year wrap up thicker type toner very similar in consistency to the Hadu Labu premium toner um, but this one's just a slight bit thinner has more of a scent and I like this one better for layering so I can do two three layers of this one and it just gives such a pretty skin type finish it's great for underneath makeup and with moisturizer and it also is really really like luxury feeling really really pleasantly surprised by this because it's the first thing I've ever tried from this brand all right so moving on to a clear but thicker toner this is the claire's supple penetration unscented toner so they have two formulas of this they have the scented one and the unscented i chose to get this one because it's good for sensitive skin and this one by far out of all the clear liquid toners i've shown you that are thicker in consistency is the most dense it is a super compact thick toner so it is not good in general to wipe down your skin with this this is definitely a toner that's moisturizing and needs to be patted into the skin um but personally i found that the moisturizing effect even though this is such a penetrating different type formula i didn't like like it does leave a very thick uncomfortable feeling to the skin I found since this almost has like a sticky aloe type finish to it really great for microdermabrasion on your face so if you do shave your face like use those small razors to take off the peach fuzz um, it's a great protectant type layer to put but as far as relying it on a skincare step within my routine i didn't like it now i'm going to move on to the second category within this category and it's the milky toners now let's start off strong with the kaiku saki high moist toner so this one is the other bottle that is thicker in consistency compared to the pink sake toner that i just showed you this one is different because it's called their high moist and it's thicker in consistency in my opinion compared to the pink bottle this one has much stronger scent just because it's thicker and the sake oh my goodness is really overpowering it doesn't fade as quickly as the pink bottle one does but eventually like within 30 minutes the scent is like completely gone but if you're gonna be smelling it for 30 whole minutes especially if you layer them on so this one out of the whole line is one that not only delivers that sake brightening effect it also delivers moisturization for a long period of time but i take breaks with this and i switch back and forth because the scent again is super intense so just keep that in mind if you try anything from them um, it does really smell. At first, it smells a little different, and then over time, um, I feel like it just ferments more, and it smells pretty intense. 
Okay, so next is the Master Mix Soon Milk Toner. So this one is just pretty much the same consistency as the one I just showed you. Um, it's thicker, milky, like goopier consistency almost. Mix Soon has a ton of different products now, but I just really wanted to try the milky toner for some reason. And I just had high hopes it's going to make my skin nice and supple. The ingredients in it is going to be amazing. And it just was like my skin really burned so i was like well it's a huge bottle what am i going to do with all this milky toner let me try to pat it into my skin and it made the sensitive areas especially where i have eczema like just burn this toner consistency is also very sticky to its finish so it does feel once it dries down a little bit uncomfortable so along with the burning plus the really sticky finish it just wasn't for me i was a little disappointed um just because on the bottle itself it does say that it's a soft toner meaning like it's supposed to soften the skin be nice and gentle and i was just like very confused just thought it was going to be another very good simple hydrating milky toner but unfortunately it did not agree with my skin and to me it felt very burning very sticky so the next toner that i have is from the brand ablp and this is the nicetamide facial toner so this is a milky liquid toner so compared to the other two i just showed you um this one is a lot more lightweight consistency it's a simple basic hydrating toner that has niacinamides in it and is supposed to be good for all skin types. The APLB line with the type of green labels are super good for sensitive skin and especially if you have allergy prone skin. So in the spring my skin is super sensitive so I don't want to trigger any more type of like allergies or redness to it. So instead of using like a scented very hydrating toner what I like to do is just very simply go back to this line and use it for basic steps of hydration not really for like any other skincare benefits just for hydration it really does calm down my skin it doesn't trigger it more to be more itchy or irritated it just really settles it makes a nice layer of light hydration and it's just like very basic like very basic but very good really young still in school and you don't really want anything too heavy or thick of a toner this would be a great milky base toner to use that's not too thick really good for sensitive skin and just like a basic way to get hydration in do the angel aqua line so this is called their water essence in lotion so it's pretty much a lotion but it's an essence lotion a very thicker lighter weight lotion consistency so out of all the ones i just talked about this one's definitely the most thick in consistency because technically it's considered a lotion within the k-beauty world so it's light enough to layer but it's thick enough to hydrate as like a final step this one compared to the toner does not smell like lemons it has no scent whatsoever all these other ones you can layer and layer on but if you're not locking it it's not going to offer hydration for a long period of time this one in particular you can just put on in a single layer it offers the hydration and you don't have to like layer other things on it i feel like this is super slept on this lotion in particular even if you didn't know it was like a toner essence is like a really great lotion like if you were just really simple and wanted to do a milky toner with a lock-in lotion these two would be for you Whew. okay so guys if you're still with me we're coming to the last category within this video and that is specialized or specialty toners so the first one i have right here is the sauna whitening mist and this one is considered i guess a toner or a lotion toner in a bottle that has like a mist cap kind of like the evian spray water but it has the sauna whitening formula in it i love this aerosol can i feel like it distributes so pretty on the skin and also it's a great step for me to lock my makeup in and also set my makeup with so i don't use this as a toner replacement as the other ones i use this toner in particular to just set my makeup and prep for makeup so I will show you the effect it gives to makeup. I set my face with powder already, but if you need like a quick refresher or to make your skin look a little bit more dewy and hydrated, I just spray this on. First, the mist is really nice. The aerosol can does make a difference. And then it just brings life back to the skin without making it look too dewy or too greasy. But I 
And then the other toner that I do have as far as spray category goes is the APLB Mist Essence. So I just showed you guys the toner. This is pretty much almost the same consistency, but it's an essence, so it's a little bit more thicker. World of K-Beauty, this is going to be considered your first step. So you would spritz this after you cleanse and then tone your skin. I just like to use if I don't want to touch my skin. Like if I don't want to pat anything into it, I don't want to wipe it down with a cotton pad. It's super sensitive. I just want to get a quick level of hydration this is the one that i use if you do try to like prep or set your foundation with it it's not good whatsoever for that but if you're just looking for a basic skincare step it's really easy you just literally just and you get some hydration this would be for you all right last but not least is toner pads and i just have two to share with you i know i gotta get more into the toner pad game but recently i've been really liking them and it's a step i've been doing every single morning so right now i'm using the skin foods carrot calming water pad and for some reason i just wasn't in the mood or the use to ever use a toner pad i thought like I already use so many toners. Why would I need a pad in the routine? But these do make a difference, especially with a double gentle cleanse in the morning time. To lay one on my cheeks or one on each cheek and one on my forehead and I let it sit for like five, 10 minutes when I'm brushing my teeth or doing some other activity. And then I go back to it and I take the toner pad and I gently wipe down my skin with whatever toner is left on it. And I find that doing this step after cleansing in the morning time really has made a difference. I always cleanse in the morning time with a foam cleanser like i always cleanse no matter what even if my skin's sensitive even if it's dry i always have to wash my face with water so i would never replace a toner pad with cleansing my skin but after cleansing i find that sometimes i still have residue left over on it because i'm very gentle in the morning with like white washing my face i'm very gentle um so i feel like sometimes i still have a little residue from sleeping or have like little traces of the skincare from the previous night this just ensures me that all of that's wiped off and my skin is nice and fresh and clean without over stripping it and then this is the parsley one this one has obviously the ingredient of parsley personally to me i love the carrot line the best um, but the parsley is really nice and really gentle as well um super refreshing and I really like the toner pads that these have because if I don't want too thick of one, I just can pull it apart and it works really great. You can like double up on it. So that was the last I had to share with you guys. I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you made it to this point, thank you so much for watching. I really wanted to give like a detailed review about each toner that I've tried within this year so far. Once again, everything will be listed in the description box by category with the name and the link. Also within the series, make sure to look out for the next two videos coming. This is going to be the quarter year serum category and the quarter year moisturizer category. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next skincare video. Bye.